Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Vox and we've got Sentinel, round two over and done with. As you can see, we already are on the next arena. Uh, I've already uh, put up almost nine million in that one. Uh, this is a new arena and you can do all of the milestones just like right off. And I was thinking of doing that and I might still do it. However, don't forget that you have a daily objective where you're going to have to um, go into this arena anyway. Let me, let me show you real quick here in case you guys did not uh, know. This right here resets every day. All right, it's gonna last for 19 days, uh, this special daily event, but each one of these resets every day. And if you look here, win fights while using seven star champions in the Magic Heist Arena. And the next one is win fights using six or seven star, meaning if you do six fights, with a seven star, you're done for the day. If you do six stars, you're still gonna have to do the seven stars. So um, I will probably do all the milestones just so that I don't have to worry about it, but I'm still gonna come back here every day, uh, back to the uh, arena every day to do that daily. I did the one yesterday, and so I have to do this one when my seven stars reset because I use them in uh, this arena. All right. Let's uh, check out these leaderboards. Uh, and I believe Sentinel was the uh, featured. So, yep. Oh, Dark Wolf is back in number one. He's number one, 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 one. Oh, man. How far, uh, how close are you now? I think you said you were like one or two wins, uh, one or two number ones from that, uh, what is it, God of War uh, title. Whew. You go, boy. You go. You go. You go. All right. Shasha Boom. Mad Max. Oh, I love that one back in the day. Woo. Was it Mad Max? Um, was it Thunderdrome? Thunderdome, I think it was, was like the second one, I think. Because there was more than one. And oh man, it was something. Post apocalyptic styled. I loved it. I used to um, look for books that were, I didn't know at the time what they were called, but post apocalyptic. Last Zarnian, congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, super chat today in the live stream. Appreciate you, man. And uh, definitely congratulations. Kitten fat. Mirokala. Laser John. Congratulations, man. So we do have, I don't, I don't know if Laser John is, uh, I don't know what his plans are, but uh, one of our officers, the one who he takes most fights. He's the one that does the planning um, and assigning of the fights and everything. It's a lot of work. And uh, I, I was like, I'm glad he was doing it. Um, but he's going to be leaving us. Uh, that's going to be sad. I understand he probably needs a break or he might be going uh, to an alliance where he can do um, uh, higher higher tier. I don't know. I don't know what his plans are. Um, but more power to him. I, I think he also does a lot of uh, battlegrounds as well. So he might he might just be more competitive than we are right now, or we're too competitive and he needs to relax a little bit more and take a step back. I'm not sure, but he will be missed. I don't know if somebody else will uh, take his place and start doing the um, 
you know, mini boss assignments, because that's what he was doing, mini boss assignments. Um, you'll I, I don't know if you watched my war videos in the beginning we weren't getting assigned so i would basically um look over them and try to choose somebody that could take my path and the mini one of the minis and that was that was a pain it was a pain um and i know at least one time trying to do that messed me up because then I didn't have a proper counter for someone on my path that I just kind of didn't really think about because I was too busy thinking about the mini. And so our boss was like, hey, don't worry about the minis. Just make sure you have your path covered. And then he started looking over and saying, okay, that's a good counter for that one and, and assigning people. And sometimes he didn't assign me anyone because I didn't have a good counter or I didn't have the best counter. Someone else had a better counter. Um, so I don't know how it's going to work out. Definitely going to um, be some adjustments uh, needed. All right. Here's uh, the boy Lazarnian's over here too. Man, Lazarnian tearing it up. Congratulations, man. Mr. Peanut Butter. Y'all know I ain't ate yet, right? I'm hungry. I was actually going to eat something. Uh, cause I haven't eaten anything, uh, today yet. It's 348. No breakfast, no lunch. Gotta do it. And right after the stream, I did, I did drink a little of this for a little snack, you know, apple juice. So I don't, you know, pass out. And I was, uh, Ooh, a little chilling and sha sha boom over here. Um, I, I was going to go ahead and eat, but then I was like, you know what? Let me just make this video right quick. Because if I don't, I'm going to forget, and then it's going to be late at night, and then uh, I'm going to be like, oh, I don't really want to make it, and then it'll be tomorrow or, or maybe Sunday by the time you guys even see it. So I'm like, nah, let me, let me get it. So I chose you guys over food. That's how important you are. All right. Giovanni. I like that name. A friend of mine um, met a girl. Her name was Joani. And cute little thing. Oh, my goodness. This is many years ago, of course. She's still cute. But um, she uh, came from his same island. Uh, Mauritius, I think it was. Mauritius, Mauritius. And it's a small island. And the odds of him not just meeting someone, but meeting someone from his little small island. And he was a um, minister's kid and also uh, a missionary kid. And he wanted to do follow in his father's footsteps. So he was going to be a missionary running all over the place. Right. So finding someone that not only was from his little island, but was also supportive of his missionary lifestyle. I told him, I was like, don't even play. You already know she was sent to you, right? And he was just like, <laughs> he couldn't even say that. And the reason that was so uh, deep was because before that, he was extremely depressed. He had broken up with um, his girlfriend he was out there trying to do missionary work and he was very, very depressed. And he was so depressed, we were worried about him. We were asking people to check in on him. Okay. That's how um, serious <clears throat> it was. And then, you know, we, 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 you know, we're praying for him and all this. And the next thing we know, he done met somebody. And I said, wait, wait, what? I said, so wait, let me get you straight. You met someone from your little island that I hadn't even heard of before I met him. So you met somebody from that island and they're supportive of your missionary lifestyle. Huh. Interesting. Clearly just a coincidence, right? Yeah, just a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. 
Thank you all for watching. Take care. I'm going to get something to eat before I pass out. Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.